Hello. Um, I waited like 10, 15 minutes for this and this food isn't cheap. You see the cup that I got with something in it? I can go get you a new one if you'd like. Yes. Okay, well, does it have to be a cup like that? With all that, the ring around it and filthy? Let's see, these are the only cups we have for All of them like that with this expensive food? I'm not too sure. I haven't observed the cups. I'm just trying oh, to Oh, if it's right possible. Here, I'll go ahead and grab you a new cup. If it's possible. Thank you. That's where I'm at. I want to be outside alone to not get violated by the people. Remember I asked the homeless people on the streets about the food and was given the runaround. Then I was at a bus stop and couldn't catch the bus. Then I was at H-E-B getting violated. So I just went to the first place that I saw. You, I'm forced to make decisions because I don't. I want to minimize getting terrorized. This is the plate I was given. My phone is covering for it, so you can't see it. Clean plate. I don't know what that is on it. Alright, and this was, this was the only thing on it. I didn't touch it. This is what the government is enforcing with your tax dollars. She was able to find a clean cup, but she didn't know if she could. Cheesecake Factory made two attempts, and both of them were dirty. So then they, a solution that they gave me with attitude was to give me a, a to-go cup. This is what I'm allowed. I just don't have a choice. This is how I'm treated. Location to location. I just hope it don't taste worse. I may, I don't know, they, they, they told them to stop giving me refunds. If the food is bad. I told her I didn't want the egg running. Like I told the Indian restaurant, I did not want my food um, sweet. They gave us something sweet anyway. Tikka masala chicken, I have never had sweet. And it was a puree. I've never had tikka masala that was a puree, some kind of weird puree. I don't think it was tikka masala. They served me something else claiming it was tikka masala. Then wouldn't give me a refund and forced me to take something else free, which also did not taste right. It tastes horrible. It tastes burned. The meat too. I couldn't eat it. My phone's going out of focus again. We're not liking it? No, it's the buns burn and the meat's burn. The buns and it, burn and, and did I tell you that, who, were you the one that I said I didn't want the egg running? Oh, yeah, remember and I said, okay, let's do over medium. So that yeah, way it's still running. Like, yeah, so over medium is actually, what I clarified with you, is like partially cooked, so it would be halfway But medium. I said I didn't want it running. No, 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 because I clarified with you over medium. It, it's, are you upset or something? Because I don't like the way I'm being talked to. Oh, I'm being punished? No, you're not being punished. I'm just asking you to not talk to me like I'm an animal. It's not just a job. If I said I didn't want the egg runny and it's runny and I'm being punished for explaining that to you. Did I say it was over medium? I just get violated, ma'am. I don't you want it. You feel violated because you're egg runny. I, I feel violated by the way I'm being Okay, to. I have to be degraded. Okay, ma'am. I'm not trying to degrade you. I'm just okay. asking you to like, stop talking to me like an animal. Okay. I'm just doing my job. I can definitely get you something that you want. No. I can cook I, it, whatever I don't have rice, ma'am. I have to be oh, punished God. trying to be go out and then by me telling you the eggs runny, I'm punished and I, I'm blamed for it. Why, why do you think that? But I don't have rights, ma'am. If you need to degrade me That's and blame me and play it. mind games, you can do it. I haven't That's been able to stop our army pulling people to do that. Hey, hold on. Let me go get my manager real quick just because like, it feels like there's miscommunication. And I definitely don't want you to feel violated. I, just I don't have rights. I have to be violated. I have to be blamed. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't want you to feel that way. I feel bad that you feel that way. I, it happens I just all don't like the way I'm getting talked to. Uh, yeah, you don't feel the way. Okay. I, I don't you can blame you. me for it. Go ahead. Okay. I'm just saying that you could have been a little bit nicer. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I definitely want to get you something that you enjoy. It's no, it's no point. Because if I have to be a bully and mistreated over someone ruining my art order deliberately, I, I mean, I don't have rights. Okay, yeah. Let me give it one second. Okay. So what she didn't want me discussing, if I said I don't want it running, why is it running? 
Then she said she told me that it would be, why are you enforcing runny eggs when I said I did not want it? Since when do you go to a restaurant and it's impossible for you to get what you're ordering? You can't. It can't be done. Paying for food and they refuse to let you order your food the way that you want it. It has to be controlled. We cannot hurt. We cannot give you the tortillas, period, the way that you want it. Your abuser has to control the way that you get your tortillas. We cannot, you cannot order an egg that's not runny. I told, I told you that up front. It has to be the way that your abuser wants your order. That's how we have to prepare your food, the way that your abuser wants it. That's the only way that you can have your food that you're paying for. I can understand if the abuser was paying for the food, then I would go ahead and take the runny egg. But I'm paying for the food and have no power or control over my phone, my food, or anything else in my life, period. It cannot be done. No control over access to my kids, transit, it cannot be done. We cannot do it, period. Hello? Are you the manager? No, I just didn't. Uh, I asked the waitress to do. Uh, I didn't want runny eggs, and she brought it runny. The buns burnt, and the meat tastes. This doesn't taste very good. I don't want it. Since your waitress is abusive and blame me for it, I just want to leave. What did she blame you for? I ordered an egg that wasn't runny, and she said she didn't like the way that I was talking to her. What you were ordering? Just now, when I told her that I did not want this food, I did not order it that way. Gotcha. So, would you like to get you something else? Or you just no. Want it today? I just want to leave. Sounds good. I'll go ahead and take care of your bill. You won't be charged anything, and then you're all good. Okay. Thank you. So, when he came out, he watched TV first. I don't know if they have cameras out here. He came out to talk to me, but got distracted by watching TV. I don't know. That may be a camera right there. My phone's blurry again. You were watching for me, sir, and then you left. Were you the one that helped with the elevator? I saw you watching, looking for me. Yes, I saw you looking for me, and then you left. So I was told that I needed um, supervision. They needed to help me with the elevator, but he just explained that I could use the elevator on my own. My phone's glitching again. So I thought it was a code that you have to put in. So he escorted me up to the restaurant. Let's see if I can do it alone. I don't know. It's all I thought. Immediately, when I was coming out, going to the bath, coming, going to the bathroom, someone was ready coming out the men's restroom, blocking my path. Each step I take. Look how there's no one else on the streets. But everywhere I'm at is crowded with people blocking my path. This petty nonsense that you, I'm sure you didn't believe. If people can't do it, we'll place something in your path. One way. right here each corner harassment's criminal so it's just coincidental for seven years one right here coincidental coincidental security right there they didn't have security when i first arrived but now they have new security security's right there that arrived after me still have not got charges Stalking is a felony. Harassment's a misdemeanor charge. How did security arrive after me? Why is it okay for people to hide behind being a security guard to commit crimes? Right here, right here. Everywhere I turn for all these years. Just trying to walk down the street. Can't eat food, can't walk down the street. There's the bus right there, conveniently, when I'm arriving. Let's see if she'll let me catch it. No, she's leaving immediately. It's not on purpose for seven years. It's not. 
someone controlling transit and malice that's mentally ill, I'm sure that it would be charges. It's dropping off its own security, even in the apartment complex that you live, locked out on your balcony mysteriously. I don't even know how that's possible. I have the video uploaded, but can't find it. So I go out on my balcony to enjoy myself. That's the kind of things I like to do. Sit outside, I have tea, and do different things. The first time I went out there, I was locked out on my balcony. And I had to call the apartment. The apartment said that they couldn't do it right then. So I was stuck outside on my balcony in the heat. It has a bar that you put down. And I, I howl, just like the rain. So in my mind, if you put a bar down to lock people out, how was the bar placed down when I'm outside? Isn't that impossible? That meant that someone came in my apartment to lock me outside. That's serious. That meant that there was voyeurism crimes and someone supervised me in my own apartment and saw me going outside and was infuriated and then locked me outside of my own apartment on the balcony. Let's see if this will be allowed to be uploaded. This is a good device. Let's see how long this takes.